Hi guys, my name is Harmony and I'm a digital content creator who lives in Vancouver, BC. So if you guys have been watching our cabin series, welcome back. Uh, and if you're new here, I'll get you up to speed. So a few weeks ago, my partner Alex and I bought a cabin in the woods and our plan is to turn this place into like a lakeside boutique Airbnb. This cabin series is gonna be like the behind the scenes of making that dream a reality. For some background info, here's a little sneak peek of what the cabin looked like before we bought it. So as you can see, it's pretty much turnkey and it has a lot of potential. Um, and so in this video, we're gonna show you all the steps that we've been taking to prepare and just turn this place into a proper Airbnb business. Okay, so we are currently just in the process of starting to decorate and buy all the stuff for the cottage because when we go back, we're only gonna have like two weeks to flip the space into an Airbnb before we have to start renting it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the stuff that we got from our initial haul from HomeSense. And then this weekend we're gonna do Ikea and try to just get all the stuff we can. Okay, so here. I'll start, so I'll start with my favorite thing that we found. This was actually a painting um, or an illustration that we got at HomeSense. And what I like about them is they cure it. Their buyers are pretty good and they curate a lot of different stuff. So this is actually by a Canadian artist. Um, where did I say she was from? She went to Ryerson. So like, I'm a big fan. Her name was Sabina, um, Sabina Fenn. Anyway, so shout out to her, love this piece. We also got some kind of more Aztec bohemian throw pillows because we ended up buying a gray couch that's a sectional. So we wanna warm it up with things like this throw blanket. Um, this we had from Structube a while ago, but I think we're gonna bring it to the cabin because I wanna do a Palm Springs themed room, which is also why we got this. Here, I'll show you. Alex hates this painting, it's so big. We might return it, but I was inspired about the Palm Springs kind of like theme because of like the terracotta colors in this illustration. I'm like, ooh, it would be so fun to design the uh, cab cabina, what's it called? The casita around this kind of like more Palm Springs uh, desert theme. And then the rest of the house can be more kind of bohemian slash cabin cottage energy. So the next thing that we got here um, is we also got this basket uh, just to put towels and stuff in because if everybody's going to the beach and spending time at the water or in the pools and all that it's nice to have one of these for guests to like have all the towels in we also oops we also got this really nice mirror so I think this will also go in the casita um, as well as we got that mirror over there because you can never have enough mirrors honestly what is up um, we also got uh, some lights from Canadian Tire. So we're gonna string these in the patio. But honestly, there's so much stuff to buy still. So we have to, luckily the beds are coming with the place, but we need to buy furniture for the living room, uh, the bedrooms, and just kind of a give thing. Like it's, it's not, none of the resort rentals out there are that nice. So I think if we can stand out and have ours really styled and beautiful and comfortable, it'll definitely be a winner. So yeah, that's the update so far. Side note, one of the best parts of getting this cabin has been seeing our friends react to the news. Dude, oh my god, and the ceiling, and it's like, oh, yeah. oh my god, oh, this is yours? Right, isn't that crazy? This is huge. I'm like, this is way too nice for us. Yeah, it's pretty rad. Oh my, I love it, oh my god, I love it. Isn't that cool? This is so sophisticated. Oh, the fuck? And if you at home are also excited, or like let's say you're looking to travel this, this summer, we're gonna be publicly launching the Airbnb on July 15th. So if you're planning a trip, hit us up and uh, you can actually reserve the cabin for yourself and be one of our first guests. If you're looking for that kind of thing, you can shoot us an email at postuplakeside at gmail.com and then just let us know the dates that you wanna travel and we will hold them for you. Hello. For dramatic effect, I'm joining you from what used to be our dining nook and it is now the house of the many thousands of dollars of items that we've purchased. Um, because I guess what we didn't think about when we were planning this Airbnb and all the things we needed to buy was where we would put all the stuff. But this is okay because we are fortunate and we have enough space, so it's gonna be all right. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit right now about the planning that goes into starting an Airbnb business and some of the things that we started thinking about when we decided to take on this project. All right. Let's try it. I'm gonna try to. Ugh. All right, now I'm comfortable. Um, so yeah, one of the first things that we started to think about was, okay, what are the basic essentials? And that came down to things that we needed were a couch, 
We have an extra dining table, so we are good on that front. We have some dining chairs that we can pull, these white ones that used to be in this nook here. Um, and just basically using as many things from our existing house as we could without taking away from our existing space. But the fundamentals that we needed to buy were a couch, um, a king bed frame, because all the other beds came with the deal, as well as like some armchairs and different things to put in the living room, like a coffee table, that sort of thing. So in order to maintain the budget, we decided to buy a lot of that stuff secondhand um, because here in Vancouver, right now, a lot of people are leaving the city. So there's a ton of like lightly used year old furniture that people have gotten recently and now they're leaving. So it's a perfect time to buy on Facebook Marketplace or something. Big day, uh, we have to go pick up a lot of the furniture. So we're renting a truck. Pat was with us here last night drinking until like midnight and it's 8 a.m. and he volunteered to come help us move furniture and retrieve things. Um, you know, we have the best friends in the world. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at this whole vlogging thing because... Hopefully that's not... I'm trying to get better at this whole vlogging thing because I don't typically record much behind the scenes things. Doing everything all of the time. A little bit of everything all of the time. A little bit of everything, all of the time. The towers fell circa 99. Three bugs in a rug. <laughs> <laughs> We're fully loaded back there. Fully loaded, bud. but our room has been overtaken by all of this stuff. So we got a couch, a king bed, we got um, a chair that's actually out in the living room. I'll show you what else. We have so much decor items that we're gonna show you. Okay, I have to turn this off because we're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> one was basically finding all those deals that we could. Now the other aspect of essentials was things like bedding, sheets, plates, unsexy things that are just necessary for like starting an Airbnb. But luckily we were able to bulk a lot of those purchases at Ikea. And we'll take you to Ikea in a second. I'll actually show you how that trip went down. Whee! Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or like some decorative ones. Yeah, but because you want each person to have a choice of like a soft pillow or a, or a firm one. Yeah. So then it, you can look nice with the four on it and then they can choose which one they use. The amount of money we're spending on bedding right now is just devastating. I guess, but this is for me. You got more. <laughs> like we've actually run out of room for all the bedding. <laughs> Okay, so how can we... It looks like our cart is actually like one of the bins where they're selling things because it's so overflowing. I feel like we're starting like a camp for kids. Like this is how much stuff we have. We almost need a second cart because we haven't even made it to the fake plant department. I'm going to go ape shit. How many beds Thanks. do we have? Behind? Seems like it. Alright. This is insanity. We've acquired a third cart, so it's one, two, and then we have the flatbed. I actually don't know how we're gonna move these. A job well done, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah. So after focusing on some of the essentials, uh, we got to also put some time and energy towards decor. And I think this is very important because when it comes to the marketing of a space, people want a space that looks styled, that looks comfortable. And that's why we got, you know, some nice plants. We got some beautiful artwork that I'm really excited about. Because at the end of the day, your environment, I think, is worth spending money on. And those pieces, really add a sense of hominess to a space rather than just like feeling like you're getting a hotel room, you know? Because that's what Airbnb is all about.
So we're trying to decide what we think of this couch and if we could style it the way we want. So thinking white wall behind, ignore those pictures, but um, we're thinking if like we style it with like all the right stuff, the grayness of the couch will fade away. Cause we wanted a couch that was actually like more like this kind of color, like an oatmeal. However, the problem with that is that as a rental couch, like we didn't want it to get fucked up. So. So if we're here in Vancouver and our place is in the Okanagan, you might be asking yourself like, Harm, how are you gonna buy stuff to style your space if you don't know what it looks like in the space? That is a great question that you bring to the table. So my solution for this was to make a mock-up using the pictures that were on the real estate listing. And I'll show you a little bit of that. It looks a little bit ratchet, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but it was a good way for us to choose, for example, like which art we're gonna get for the wall. And if we're gonna do a gallery wall, will all those different pieces go together? Um, so those kind of things are challenging to do just in your mind's eye, <laughs> unless maybe you're a really talented interior designer. But I like to think I have a good eye and I needed some help. So if you wanna plan um, your space ahead of time, I think this is a really easy way to do so. So I did this in Illustrator and it allowed me to like kind of swap out the different rugs and play around with the wall art that we were thinking of buying. And uh, it's just a cheap little, little hack for you. You could probably also maybe use Canva or something else, but yeah. So that was the planning aspect of the interior decor. Hello, okay, it's next week and I have to do another little haul with you because we've gotten much more things, many more things. Okay, so first of all, this is our my little dollar. I just went to the dollar store to get a couple small things. So one of these things that I got was a board for the Wi-Fi. And then I also got some nice little kind of touches for people. So there's like a word hunt and I also got a Sudoku, 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 you know, you know what I mean. Sudoku. Sudoku. Um, and just some like crayons and paper because that way if, you know, there are like kids, they have something to do. Okay, I don't garden, but I thought this was a really cute little cup. I love these kind of tin cups. Um, next, you know, obviously we, I think the dollar store is great for these cheap things like, um, what's this called, the potato peeler, these cups, these bowls, little pot holders. Alex got us this light, it's from Ikea. And it's also a speaker. It's a collaboration with Ikea and Sonos. So you're excited about that one? Yeah, I just got the bulb. Looks great. It does look great. It's pretty warm though. But we kind of like that because it's cozy. I think all our bulbs will be this color. Okay. They're like the ones we already have in there. He's the light man. He does the lights. You don't want a... <laughs> you, don't, you don't want a blue light or like a intense white light you want like a warm soft cozy light no that's 100 percent true especially in the cabin yeah. another small touch that i wanted to pick up was hair ties because often you know you might be out there your hair is a mess you forgot a hair tie those are nice for the ladies or men with long hair um, i got this cute little thing for coffee we have some pans um okay what else Another thing that I got was this book called Cozy by Isabel Gillies. I haven't read it yet, but I think it's like the Higgy book, Higgy. Um, and I just thought it was really cozy to have at the, at the cabin so people could kind of leaf through it and it's an easy light read. Another print that we ended up getting after um, I did the last HomeSense haul is this one. This is a pretty like large frame, but it's like this classic kind of California scene. My only criticism of this print, I really love it. Um, is that it's very white. Like, I just wish this wasn't all white people. Like, come on. Uh, but it does look like an authentic old picture, I think, but I could be wrong. Finally, this doesn't look like much, honestly, but this is a hammock chair and we're stoked to put this up because it's gonna hang on one of the beams and be super fun. Another thing is when I was like 18, maybe I traveled to Finland and I sourced this from a thrift market. So this is a Swedish um, printed fabric and i love it because this this type of this scandinavian style has always been one i've drawn to and the scandinavian style has really come into trend but being finn i've always loved this kind of like graphic style because it reminds me of you know my family and my culture and so i've been hanging on this to this for years i've never known what to do with it but it's gonna i think be a really cool throw pillow so i'm gonna turn this fabric into a pillowcase um, and I'm stoked about that because the gray also matches the couch and it'll just be fun. I was working on some, some art for the place. Yeah, so because we're calling it the posta, like 
we always use post up in, in you know, conversation. Like, let's. I think you do. Okay, well, I don't know if other people do, but I'll be like, yo, let's post up, or this is a great spot to post up. And that's what we wanted to call it. But because people might not be familiar with that terminology, we thought it would be cute to just kind of like create these little dictionary things that Alex. So we have post up and the definition. I'm not done yet, but the layout's finished. Let me see. We have casita, which is like the little bedroom that's separated. And then what casita means, because it means small house in Spanish. I wrote them and then he formatted them and they look really cute. Yeah. Yeah. So almost done. I think when you're making an Airbnb, it's all the, like the little things that you can add to the space that are like cute, thoughtful touches. I think those are the most important. And I think we're pretty good at that. So I'm, I, we can, we're continuously on the lookout for opportunities to delight people. And uh, that's kind of the name of the game. And actually starting the Airbnb business, I think I'll make other videos on that more once I've gone through the process. But for now, with just starting the business, these are some of the essentials and the fundamental things that we've had to do. Um, so perhaps if you're thinking of doing this yourself, um, definitely take some time to do an inventory list of all the different things you might need and kind of structure those in terms of what is absolutely necessary and essential, um, what is nice to have, like maybe your decor and stuff, and then what is, what are your kind of variable needs, like cleaning products that you're going to have to refill regularly. And in doing that, you can actually go through and kind of start pricing out some of those items so that when you're getting into the project, you know what you're in for before you buy, let's say, a house and you're like, oh shit, there's six beds, we can't afford to dress all of them. And I will say for our overall project to fully get the house ready, um, keep in mind it's coming with the beds, like I said, and all the bed frames, um, we budgeted $6,000 and we broke that up into let's say 2,000 to essentials, 2,500 to furniture, and 1,500 to uh, the hospitality needs. So yeah, thank you for joining me in my room full of stuff. That was kind of our process so far. And stay tuned because the cabin series is gonna be a lot of fun and we're really excited to take all this stuff and make the vision come to life. And I'll show you how close my silly, <laughs> my stupid fucking renders were compared to the real thing when it's done. All right, that's a wrap. Bye guys, thank you.